So next we can start push down automata unit 4. So we already discussed according to Chomsky hierarchy there are 4 types of grammar. Right? Type 0, type 1, type 2 and type 3. So type 3 grammar which is nothing but regular grammar which generates regular languages and are accepted by finite state machine or finite state automata. Right? And second that is second type. Type 2 grammars are context free grammar generate context free languages and are recognized by push down automata okay so in the previous unit you studied about regular grammar regular languages and the regular languages are accepted by the acceptor which is nothing but finite automata and you already studied about what is a context free grammar and what is a context free languages okay so now we are going to discuss about what is push down automata so, push down automata is a way to implement context free grammar. Okay. So, context free languages are generated by context free grammar and are recognized by the machine, which is nothing but push down automata. Okay. So, it is a way to implement the context free grammar in a similar way we are designing the finite automata for regular grammar. Okay, so a finite, sorry, a push down automata is uh, represented by using seven tuples. And these, uh, these type 1, type 0, you will study in the upcoming topic. Type 1, uh, which is context sensitive grammar, generate context sensitive language recognized by linear bound automata. And this is unrestricted grammar. The language is recursively innumerable language and the machine is Turing machine. Okay, so now we are discussing about push down automata. So push down automata is representing by using seven tuples. Seven tuples. So in a finite state automata, finite automata is represented by using five tuples, which are the Q, Sigma, Del, Q naught, F. Right, the machine is represented by using five tuples. In case of push down automata, is represented by using seven tuples, which is Q. Sigma, Del, Q naught, F and two more tuples. One is Tau. Tau is the stack alphabet and set note which is sometimes you can see like this. Okay, or you can write set note only, set, uh, set zero like this. Okay, this indicates the top of the stack. So, this is stack alphabet. This is top of the stack. It is a stack bottom. Top of the stack. Okay. So, if I push down automata is represented by using 7 tuples. What is Q? Q is a set of finite state. Finite number of states. Finite number of states. This is a set of input symbols. This is the transition function. And Q0 is a starting state. F is the set of final states. Okay. This is similar to uh, finite automata extra two more tuples here one is stack alphabet tau and set zero that is the top of the stack so when you studied about uh, regular grammar so you can see the language l equal to a power n b power n such that n greater than or equal to zero or greater than or equal to one this type of language is not regular you already discussed you already studied this one right so why it is not regular here n number of a's n number of b's Okay, if there are 3B, then there should be 3A. Right? So, there will be equal number of A's and equal number of B's. Equal number of A, equal number of B's. Okay, so we need to store A's, we need to store B's, we need to count the number of A's and B's and finally we need to compare the number of A's and B's. But, storing, counting and comparing is not possible for finite automata since finite automata is having limited memory. Okay, so counting, comparing that is impossible in case of finite automata. So we are using some, uh, we are designing push down automata which is more powerful than finite automata. So this type of language can be recognized by the push down automata. Okay, so this language is a context free language generated by the context free grammar so since a finite state machine is having limited memory we are using push down automata which is having more memory so push down automata means 
the finite state machine along with the finite state machine we are adding some memory which is stack okay so finite automata plus stack which is known as push down automata so what is a stack so in data structure you studied about the stack data structure stack queue etc so you know that stack is a linear data structure right stack is a linear data structure in which two operations that is push operation push means adding element to the top of the stack another operation is pop operation these are the main two operations of stack push operations and pop operations okay so both takes place at the one end that is top of the stack understood then so we are discussing about push down automata which is represented by using seven tuples uh, this type of languages are uh, recognized by push down automata uh, by finite automata cannot recognize this type of languages because comparing counting storing that is not possible for finite automata because finite automata is having limited memory so we are using uh, another type of machine which is push down automata so we are adding extra memory along with the finite automata which is known as push down automata okay stack is a data structure linear data structure in which push operation that is insertion operation and the pop operation which is known as deletion operation both takes place at only one end which is known as the top of the stack okay and there are three components for a push down automata one is input tape second one is finite control unit and third is a stack with the finite infinite size okay a stack with the infinite size okay so there will be an input tape there will be an input tape there will be a finite control unit okay you are taking the input take input then there will be a stack this is a stack which perform push and pop operation okay then the machine will decide whether the string is accepted or rejected okay this is a input tape from input tape we are taking the input the finite control unit is there and uh, there is a stack and push and pop operations are taking place by the uh, stack at the top and finally the machine will decide whether the string is acceptable or rejecting rejected there are two types of push down automata one is dpda which is deterministic push down automata another one is non deterministic push down automata finite automata you know what are the two types dfa nfa similarly here dpda npda okay deterministic means what is deterministic uh, dfa deterministic finite automata dfa means a state on a particular input symbol goes to only one state that is we can determine the state okay in case of nfa a state on a particular input symbol goes to more than one state that is non deterministic similarly in case of pda there are two types dpda and npda okay so here see the transition function the difference is in transition function only q cross sigma cross here one more uh, Uh, tuple you need to take which is the top of the stack okay to see uh, here you, we are taking the epsilon also as the input symbol so sigma union epsilon q cross sigma union epsilon cross top of the stack gives q cross to star so it is going to only one state that is a deterministic non deterministic means two power okay that is only difference in case of dpda and npda and this is a graphical representation of push down automata this finite automata how we are representing there will be a start st state and there may be one or more intermediate state and there may be more than one final state may or may not more than one final state right this there may be there will be only there will be one final state but it is not sure there may be more than one final state okay so we can represent the uh, machine like this but in case of push down automata in the transition you need to represent like this this is a input symbol comma this is the uh, symbol that we are going to pop from the stack this is the symbol we are going to push to the stack pop push you can represent like this or you can represent like is a comma b by c either you can use a arrow mark or you can use a slash symbol okay input symbol pop symbol push symbol 
so in the next video i will explain you how to draw the how to design the pushdown automata for a given problem